there is the perfect satin stitch built into the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition. So, so many people are used to just taking a zigzag, shortening the stitch length, and then making it the width that they want it. So, whether it's wide or short, and then stitching it with an open toe foot to make it the, so you can see where you're going. Did you know that if you go over to the quilting menu, and scroll down just a little bit. Stitch number 1315 is a built-in satin stitch. It actually stitches out a little bit differently than your zigzag. And I think once you start stitching it, you'll realize that this is the stitch that you wanna just go to. Number one, it's kind of preset for stitch length. As for stitch width, that's gonna be determined by really how big your applique piece of fabric or the look that you're going for. Now, with the stitch length, going back to that, it does depend on which thread that you have in your needle. You still might need to adjust that just a little bit. A thicker thread, we'll need to spread it out a little bit, and a thinner thread, we might bump it a little bit closer. So let's just go ahead, I'm gonna put everything back to normal setting, and let's stitch it. I have kind of a variegated thread on, and it is a little bit thicker than a normal sewing thread, so we'll see what the results are once we get started. So no matter what, you do need to always have stabilizer under your fabric when you're working with some type of heavy satin stitch like this. Now this fabric's a little bit of a coarser weave and I can see immediately that I need to bring this stitch length just a little bit closer together. I like a nice solid filled in satin stitch. And I think once we get enough stitched here, you can see what I'm talking about. So as it's a little bit more open here, I can see it's already filling in as I go. So as you stitch, you can always adjust the stitch width and make it wider or even a little closer together if you feel like you want it a little bit more solid. But as you stitch, you can really see the changes and get it to be dialed in perfectly for what you're stitching around. I use this satin stitch a lot with our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. I actually used it here as I was stitching down this reverse applique over my pin tuck block. That We do so many different fun techniques. Sometimes we apply the fabric to the top of our blocks and sometimes we apply it to the underneath side. So this was actually stitched with the circular sewing attachment and then cut out this middle as I exposed the textured pin tuck uh, block or fabric that I had created with a twin needle. And look, there's actually two colors of thread there. One needle had a blue thread in and the other needle had a pink thread in. That's why you kind of get that two colored look. But as I stitched it over that raw edge and secured it down, that satin stitching really close together does the trick. And yes, if you do want perfect circles, check out the Bernina Circular Sewing Attachment because that's what I use to create this amazing block. If you're interested in learning more about your machine, other stitches, other decorative stitches, and additional presser feet, make sure you check out the links below and see what this course is all about. There's even over 10 videos you can preview for free and you don't even need to log in to start watching. Maybe you and I could have a class together and we can master your wonderful Bernina inside and out together. I hope to see you in class soon.